Andrea, Martona uh, Natusa is the last name, I am from Italy and I work uh, in a bank, I am a BI guy, basically I create uh, and uh, deliver reports, BI analysis uh, uh, for uh, our employees, our uh, um, internal employees and for uh, the human resources uh, department. I am a usual speaker at events like uh, SQL Saturdays uh, and uh, uh, any conferences uh, around uh, Europe. Uh, today uh, we uh, talk about uh, uh, Power BI and uh, the ways for creating uh, maps in uh, Power BI. This is our agenda. I have two disclaimers. <laughs> The first one, I um, assume that you already know or have uh, tried Power BI. I'm not going to explain what Power BI is. And the second one, uh, the spec of the gentle uh, girl here in the room, and uh, maybe I will need a uh, uh, few minutes more than the, the one hour uh, for uh, um, explaining all topics uh, because uh, uh, we have so many things to say, there are many uh, topics and uh, uh, little, uh, time, uh, little time. So if you want uh, uh, to stay tuned, if you are interested in uh, the topic and you want to stay tuned, you can uh, uh, follow me, you can email me, you're welcome, or you can uh, uh, check out uh, uh, a series. I started writing uh, uh, a series about each visual I'm going to explain you in uh, sqlshark.com. Every visual is an article, so you can uh, go and uh, dig in into every uh, topic. Uh, today, I only ca uh, can uh, give you an overview of every uh, visual. I can't dig in uh, into the visual itself because we have no time. I'm uh, sorry. There's a, I started writing a series on uh, this uh, for this technical uh, website. Okay, let's start. My session comes in the form of uh, a tale. Let's uh, fancy uh, a fictional group with uh, um, many uh, companies inside uh, the group with. Uh, 290 employees and uh, uh, 16 departments, for uh, example, with a very angry boss. Why? Because uh, every month we spend too much money in uh, traveling. Our employees spend too much money in traveling. And uh, the boss uh, wants to know why we are spending so many money in uh, traveling and what is uh, the reason? I say that this is a fictional uh, story but it's based on reality as uh, this is exactly what happens in my company every month when we deliver, when we, uh, when we send our reports to the human resources manager and we prepare a report for uh, travel expenses this is exactly what happens. Why we are spending so much money in traveling? I want to know why. I want to know where my employee go uh, um, and why uh, we are spending uh, so much money in uh, traveling. So, what to do? We need uh, to perform a deep analysis on uh, our uh, travel expenses on uh, uh, our uh, attitude and uh, to find out uh, patterns and uh, to find uh, the reasons uh, for um, their, uh, our costs. So, uh, for the, our boss we have to prepare a simple and clear uh, report uh, and we need to be effective uh, giving him a, a complete uh, overview of our expenses. What is the right tool? The right tool is Power BI for uh, creating our report. We can create a report uh, with uh, many charts, with many maps and uh, correlating uh, costs. Okay. So, uh, for uh, creating our report and for uh, uh, displaying uh, our costs to our boss, we uh, want to create maps. Uh, how uh, can we create maps? 
there are few visuals available in Power BI for creating uh, maps. The simplest are uh, bubbles and filled map. They are uh, the primitive uh, visual are released in Power BI since uh, is uh, released uh, two years ago. What are what is uh, a bubble uh, map? Basically, bubbles are points based on uh, a map. Uh, fillet point, uh, fillet points that can uh, have uh, a size depending on the uh, value you want to display. Uh, points are uh, recognized by a geographical attribute, latitude, longitude, a city name, um, a zip code, and so on. Uh, you um, must give an attribute that uh, um, Bing maps can uh, recognize it. Map, um, bubbles and, f and field maps are based on Bing maps, Microsoft, uh, geographical engine, okay, the competitor of uh, Google Maps. Yeah. And uh, you have to pass to the uh, engine um, a geographical attribute that it, it can uh, recognize. A simple uh, way of uh, a bubble map uh, appears, point uh, based on a map. Field maps are uh, almost same things, but field maps are regions, are um, covered areas uh, that uh, are overlaid on a map, are filled uh, and closed uh, regions with boundaries. So, uh, for example, uh, a, a country name and so on, you have to pass to Bing Maps a, a name that can be uh, recognized. The same, uh, they, they work uh, almost in, uh, in the same way. It is how a field map looks like. Uh, a, a region overlaid on, on a field region overlaid on a map. Time for our first demo. I go to Power BI and uh, I uh, I drag and drop the uh, bubble uh, maps visual. Okay. I drag and drop my uh, data. Latitude. Longitude. Uh, my uh, expenses. Expense amount. Simple example of uh, a bubble map, a point based on my destination. My employees travel around Europe and uh, they go to every, uh, every city displayed on, uh, on the map. If uh, <coughs> I want to uh, highlight a difference in uh, expenses, I can uh, uh, drag the, the amount of my expenses into the uh, value, uh, the size uh, box, and uh, for every town I uh, highlight uh, the, the differences uh, in, um, in expenses. If I want to give uh, a color saturation, uh, my measure, uh, I move my measure to the saturation, and I have an Okay, I can highlight where I'm going to, to spend much money and where I spend uh, less money. Filled map. Uh, sorry, bubble map. Filled map, uh, almost uh, the same uh, concept. Uh, this is the visual for filled map. Drag the visual into the um, report page and uh, uh, drag uh, the country, the expense uh, amount into the uh, color saturation and change the color. Okay. 
for example, uh, every map, uh, every Every, uh, every country is filled with uh, a color uh, according to color saturation uh, I have more or uh, less uh, expenses please note that uh, uh, every uh, visual is interactive so if uh, I want to uh, highlight one single uh, nation I can uh, select it or if I want to have uh, to highlight uh, uh, differences uh, in uh, years, I can select uh, a year and I have a different uh, a different amount of expenses for year. These uh, uh, visual are fully interactive with the other uh, tiles in uh, your uh, report. Okay. <coughs> I tried to uh, outline the uh, pro and cons of every visual in the form of a dialogue between our uh, employees. I uh, don't have time to uh, explain every, uh, every slide, uh, uh, just go uh, faster, you uh, will find it uh, on uh, the material from uh, the, the session. Uh, just to go faster, uh, on uh, Bing's uh, maps you don't have uh, any kind of control of the outcome. You have to pay attention on the uh, geographical attribute you set up for your map and maybe you may be, and you may be aware uh, of what we are looking for. If you look for uh, Washington, are you looking for DC or for the state? What are the results? the outcome you are expecting, okay? You must be aware of, um, of what is the outcome you are expecting. Go on, shape maps. Okay, what are shape maps? Basically, shape maps are uh, filled regions, play, uh, are regions, uh, boundaries, filled with uh, a color. Every uh, color co corresponds to uh, a different uh, measure. Filled maps, uh, sorry, shape, shape maps are based on the concept of shape file. What is a shape file? A shape file is a geographical format uh, for storing geographical information and uh, it uh, um, has been developed by ESRI. ESRI is uh, the leader, uh, the world leader in uh, the uh, geographical uh, attribute market. A, sh a shapefile nowadays is a common standard for creating uh, attribute uh, and for displaying geographical information. Okay, uh, a shapefile is made of vectors. A shapefile is a vector with some uh, geographical attributes. Uh, so, with uh, a shape file, you can display not only an area, a, a, a closed region, but you can display uh, points, you can display lines, every uh, kind of uh, geometric uh, form. Okay, you can display any, every time, or uh, sorry, every kind of uh, geometric object with uh, shape mind, with the shape maps. This is the, the, simple, the simplest uh, way of a shape map uh, looks like, a filled uh, region with uh, displays, uh, geographical uh, or um, numbers. Uh, in Power BI, there are uh, two uh, flavors, two ways for using uh, shape maps there are few built-in shape maps and uh, uh, you can create your own, your custom shape map and to deploy uh, it and use it in a Power BI desktop. Few built-in maps are available for testing it. Um, 
Oh, uh, you must create your own map. If you uh, don't uh, find uh, the map you are looking for, you can create your map and uh, import it and use it into Power BI desktop. How? For using uh, uh, shape maps into Power BI, your map must be in a format called TopoJSON. TopoJSON is a, a geographical uh, format that comes from GeoJSON. GeoJSON is uh, uh, a common uh, format for describing uh, geographical uh, features. TopoJSON is inherited from GeoJSON and is uh, not common. It's uh, difficult to find uh, out uh, files in uh, <coughs> TopoJSON uh, format. So you can uh, use a shape map and uh, uh, convert a shape map into TopoJSON using uh, many uh, engines that you can find on the internet. For example, mapshaper.org. Using mapshaper, you can uh, transform your shape file into a TopoJSON file. On the internet, you can uh, uh, find a bunch of shape map files. There are uh, many, many sources uh, available for uh, um, shape map files. So, uh, go to uh, um, in, download a shape map file and transform it into uh, a top of JSON using mapshaper.org, uh, for example. Next demo. shape map built in I uh, use the visual for shape map ok uh, I uh, drag my data and drop into uh, the buckets, uh, shape map uh, displays a standard US uh, map, but I want to uh, change it and to have my own uh, custom, uh, my own uh, map based on uh, standard 15 features available. Uh, these are the uh, built-in maps available into Power, uh, Power BI Desktop uh, from uh, USA to um, other uh, countries around the world I, I don't know um, why they put uh, these uh, countries uh, maybe for demo purposes uh, luckily there is uh, Italy so I want to, share, um, to show some data about uh, Italy I, uh, Choose following, I choose Italy. Okay. Ah, no, uh, sorry, I used the, the, the wrong uh, data set. Okay. So, uh, Power BI recognizes uh, uh, my Italian uh, regions and uh, show me some data uh, based on uh, my data, data sets. I want to do some changes. Uh, data colors. This is a, a shape map based on the default built-in shape maps into
Okay, uh, these kind of maps are fully interactive. For example, if I select, uh, uh, this is uh, another example for uh, travel expenses in, German, in Germany. Uh, if I select uh, 2010, uh, I have no expenses on this uh, land in uh, Germany. So these kind of maps are interactive and interact with uh, your uh, tiles on your report. Shape map custom. I uh, import. Uh, I created a, a custom uh, maps for Europe. I don't have a, um, a standard uh, built-in maps for Europe. I created one custom uh, map for uh, for Europe and a way to show uh, data uh, about my travel expenses in uh, Europe. So I go to. Uh, Okay. Uh, okay. Now uh, on the map menu, I uh, choose add map. I want to import a custom map I already uh, prepared. Europe. Okay. So Power BI. Uh, recognizes the, uh, my, my data and uh, show me where I have um, uh, expenses. Okay. Uh, zoom out, zoom, for example. Okay. This is a custom map, a custom shape map. This, this map is a Interactive, okay. Interacts with my other uh, tiles on the report. <coughs> this is uh, an example just to show you that uh, not only you can uh, display uh, areas, you can uh, display points. If you uh, figure it out, uh, this is the, the, the silhouette of uh, Europe. This is uh, Italy, Spain, Scandinavia, and so on. If I go to uh, some, some city, uh, this is uh, Bergen in uh, Norway, and so on. There are, uh, the, the, they, are, they are the cities around Europe. So, uh, this shape map made of points. <laughs> if I have a match with my data, uh, the points are filled with a color. Uh, otherwise, they are, they are gray. Just to give you an example of a, uh, a different, uh, on a different way to uh, use a shape map, not only an area, but also a, a, ge a geometric uh, attribute, a point, a line, and so on. Okay. Uh, shape maps are, are uh, good, you can control uh, them, uh, but there are some uh, downsizes. Uh, remember, you have to convert uh, from uh, um, shapefile to topojson, and uh, you have to uh, match uh, the, the value of your dataset with the keys inside the uh, shape map. Next visual. ArcGIS. Visual Arc GIS. Arc GIS is uh, based on a GIS, Geographic Information System, a software that basically uh, collects and analyzes special data. You can uh, perform special analysis, and uh, you can perform, uh, uh, and you can have, uh, um, <coughs> you can have uh, um, insights about. Uh, um, basic uh, uh, and spatial uh, patterns. Uh, ArcGIS is the standard software, 
software for uh, performing uh, special uh, analysis is developed by A3. And uh, uh, there's a, a, an inner uh, visual for uh, ArcGIS in Power BI. With this uh, kind of visual, you uh, can uh, display maps, not only, but you can uh, perform uh, some kind of uh, special analysis, as uh, I'm going to uh, show you. Using ArcGIS, you can also create uh, your own uh, reference layer. You uh, want to uh, display some data, your um, your personal data from your company. You can create a lawyer in ArcGIS.com, and you can uh, create the lawyer in a, a shape, a file, or GeoJSON format, and uh, publish the lawyer to. Uh, rcs.com on the, the, the public uh, site and you can reuse re your lawyer inside your uh, report in Power BI. Time for the demo. <coughs> and the uh, data latitude <coughs> longitude expenses amount I have a map with my uh, data, with my destinations uh, in Europe. It's uh, uh, almost like the, the map we have seen before. There's the Bing uh, map, the, the, the bubble map, but it uh, has more features, as uh, I, I show now. Uh, you have a map with your uh, destinations. If you go on every point, you have the, um, the legend. But, uh, but if you go to edit, okay, you have more options to, to work on your uh, map. For example, base map. Base map is the the layout the. the the aspect of your map, uh, uh, you can choose uh, um, four different kinds of uh, maps. You can change uh, your maps uh, team. Uh, you can show locations only or sides, bubbles with different sides for every uh, point, or, or you can uh, cluster your map, you can cluster your map if uh, they are there is a big concentra concentration of data in uh, uh, the same point and uh, ArcGIS clusters uh, your uh, data or uh, you can uh, have a neat map with uh, uh, the concentration of your data uh, in the form of the heat map uh, you can change uh, uh, the, okay, let's go to the sides and I want to change the layout. Okay, you uh, can change the, the sides or the color or the transparency of your uh, points. Uh, you can have a pin, uh, I'll show you later this uh, feature. You can have a uh, drive time. Uh, if you want to know uh, what are the uh, points uh, into uh, a uh, drive distance from uh, no, better. Uh, okay, 
100 miles from uh, Milano, from Milan. There are, uh, are there my, uh, some destinations of my uh, employees in a radius of 100 miles uh, around uh, Milano or uh, driving uh, distances? Uh, if I select uh, OK, roads well. Uh, drive time, maybe 30 minutes is the maximum amount. Which are the points around a uh, 30 minutes this? Uh, driving time from Rotswell. I don't know if you agree or not. <laughs> I, I don't know the uh, <laughs> geography <laughs> of... Uh, <laughs> I don't know geography <laughs> of Poland. <laughs> okay. And uh, the, the last uh, feature is uh, the, the reference... Log no, not the last. Uh, we have another uh, feature. The, the reference lawyer using... Uh, uh, Using a, a, a reference lawyer, you can add uh, a lawyer, a new lawyer, to your map for uh, displaying or comparison of, of data. For example, I uh, go on the rjs.com. Uh, I'm looking for, for um, a new lawyer into uh, the uh, uh, RQJS community. Uh, I look for data of... Uh, I want to know uh, what the, uh, which is the income for the average of income for a European country because, before, because I uh, want to compare the uh, income with my uh, travels. Are we going to the right uh, countries where the income is uh, uh, high? Are we traveling? Uh, for countries where we can uh, have new customers. Okay, so this is, uh, is uh, populating. This is uh, a new lawyer that comes from the community of ArcJS. Someone prepared it for us, and we can use the lawyer. And if I go uh, to uh, every country, I have the uh, evidence of the value. I have the income and some other data that uh, someone uh, published for uh, us. I created a, a, a custom uh, lawyer with uh, ArcJS, a simple uh, custom lawyer for this uh, demo. This is a, a custom lawyer I created with uh, uh, points for European uh, cities. And I can overlap my uh, data with the custom lawyer. The last uh, feature is uh, infographics. Basically, infographics. Basically, infographics are labels. Are labels that uh, display data uh, on uh, uh, demographic uh, um, demographic data usually, uh, and uh, they are interactive and based on your selection. But uh, unfortunately, uh, at the, the moment, uh, infographics uh, this infographics displays only data for uh, USA. So uh, for us it is uh, <laughs> un unuseful 
you have uh, total population, population by gender, age, income and so on but they are only data from USA if you are not uh, showing uh, uh, data from USA you, uh, um, actually you can't use it uh, anyway it uh, uh, puts a label on my uh, map they are basically some labels with data but they are, inter they are interactive and uh, uh, reflect your uh, selection <laughs> uh, this map is interactive uh, as well if uh, I go to select uh, years uh, or countries uh, the value changes according, according to my selection every kind of visual is uh, uh, interactive with uh, uh, the others uh, well so uh, I think if you want uh, to uh, display uh, maps rather than uh, using uh, Bing maps you should uh, use ArcGIS visual for displaying or only for displaying uh, bubbled or filled uh, maps the, the only issue uh, if, uh, is that if you want to create uh, um, a custom layer your own custom layer, not, non, uh, not uh, one that is uh, already available you have to pay uh, for having an account from uh, ArcGIS some fun, another visual a funny visual, Globe uh, 3D is a custom, this is a custom visual made, uh, made by the community of Power BI users uh, is a custom visual uh, to represent data in uh, three dimensions it's uh, quite simple, uh, you can uh, plot uh, locations and uh, have evidence of your uh, expenses and you can uh, rotate uh, the globe and uh, see the world from uh, different angles uh, quite simple, just to show Globe 3D. Mm. 3D, you have to add, the, this is a custom visual, you have to import the visual into Power BI, you uh, don't have it natively, uh, you have to uh, add the, the visual in uh, Power BI desktop. Uh, now I uh, drag and drop my data, destination, and expenses amount okay okay I put mm -hmm. my data uh, about my travels in uh, Europe for every town I visit I have a bar with uh, the uh, relative height uh, based on my expenses so I can have uh, a simple and uh, uh, effective uh, visualization of my uh, expenses are concentrated uh, not only if uh, I add to the heat field uh, another value for example the revenue uh, the, I want to um, highlight the uh, revenue uh, versus my travel expenses I'm uh, traveling in the right place or uh, my uh, uh, my travels are uh, valuable or not if I put my, the, the revenue I have uh, a neat map and I can have uh, the comparison of travel expenses versus revenue for example it uh, turns uh, out that uh, I have uh, many expenses in Ireland but no revenue so my travel is uh, effective uh, they are fictional data they are not, <laughs> not real data but, uh, just for, uh, for, for a demo but I have uh, no uh, revenue uh, versus many uh, travel expenses in Ireland 
is uh, not uh, good for me to travel uh, in uh, Ireland. The visual uh, is uh, interactive, data can change according to uh, years and uh, uh, my, uh, my selection. Next one. Mm. Okay, uh, block map is just for fun. Now, uh, things are getting serious. Let's talk about R. What's R? R is a, a statistical language, it's the most common statistical uh, language in uh, the world. With R, you can perform statistical uh, analysis. Uh, not only, uh, there is a, a uh, visual uh, for uh, R into Power BI, R scripts are uh, supported into Power BI, and R is uh, uh, shipped with a huge uh, number of packages uh, for um, displaying uh, geographical and to, um, data and to perform geographic analysis. Uh, with R, uh, there is a um, anything you, you can't do, uh, seriously. With R you can, you can perform any kind of uh, analysis and uh, uh, any kind of, uh, uh, you can uh, display any kind of uh, visualization um, for uh, uh, mapping uh, to. With R, into Power BI, you can import data from an external data source using R scripts. You can model, shape, uh, uh, transform and uh, analyze your data. And you can create any kind of chart, map, and any kind, any sort of visualization you uh, wish. The only uh, limit is uh, the uh, knowledge and your uh, fantasy. R is not easy to uh, learn. If I want to use R for uh, Power BI and for mapping into Power BI, there is the uh, visual. I have uh, this one. Okay, this is the visual, a native visual for R into Power BI. I have to uh, write some R code. Okay. I have to write uh, R scripts and then. I put my script into the visual. When I use an R uh, visual, I have the uh, script editor at the bottom of my uh, window. 
I uh, can write, or better, copy, uh, cut and paste, uh, copy and paste my code inside the script uh, editor, and then I run the code. First time uh, it uh, takes a uh, few seconds, okay, uh, I made a mistake uh, mending, uh, writing the, the code. mistake, I don't know uh, why, but I have some uh, demo to show to you, this one for example. R uh, takes a few seconds to, to load the, the visual. Okay, this is an example of what you can do with R and it is a, a kind of visualization you can't do in any other uh, way. I display uh, for every destination a comparison of my uh, travel uh, expenses, flights, hotels, <coughs> trains, and uh, so on, for every county, for every city I visited. If you think that uh, this uh, report is uh, Messi, I can uh, select only one uh, country to display data for uh, that country. This is a kind of visualization uh, you can't uh, do in any other uh, way than R. Or, for example, another one with R. There are uh, many, many, many packages available in R for uh, creating every kind of uh, map and for performing uh, uh, geographical and spatial uh, analysis. For example, mm, this is a, a simple map, but it is a, a shape file. I uh, created a, shape, a custom shape file with R. I imported the shape file into Power BI. Uh, into Power BI and then I uh, choose uh, the layout for displaying it. With R you can control any aspect of your charts, axes, uh, legends, uh, titles and so on. For example, the standard shape map visual doesn't allow you to have a legend. Okay? You can uh, uh, display a legend or a, a range of values with the R I <laughs> with the R uh, visual go on uh, another example is um, heavy to, to load is uh, uh, a bit complicated go on it is lower than uh, uh, usual ok you can display routes I am based uh, in Verona you can display uh, travel routes of our employees from uh, uh, Verona to our uh, destinations. So R is uh, 
uh, really powerful. You can uh, do any, everything with R, but R is a language, you need to learn it and it's time consuming and uh, it costs uh, uh, time and fatigue to, to be learned. Uh, up to uh, two weeks ago, uh, until two weeks ago, uh, the last I, I showed you uh, a visual with root destinations. Until two weeks ago, uh, I would have told you that uh, uh, with R uh, was the only way for displaying this kind of visual. Now there's a, a new custom visual called uh, Flow Map, released on the first of uh, first or second of May. Uh, that shows patterns on a map. It's uh, simple but uh, effective. As, uh, as a demo with the flow map visual. Go to the flow map. The, uh, you have to import the visual. Uh, this is the icon for the flow map visual. And uh, you can display uh, uh, this one destination. Longitude. It is based on Bing Maps and it shows me basically some flows. I uh, have a starting point Verona, I am, uh, my company is based in, in Verona and it shows me flows from uh, a starting point to destinations. If I want to uh, create uh, some categories I can do it by uh, countries and uh, I can have uh, uh, a different sizes based on my data. Uh, my uh, travels are expensive uh, in Spain and in uh, Germany, less in uh, Belgium. I uh, want to, uh, I like that I only uh, see three countries because it is a ping maps and it doesn't recognize my countries as I um, wrote uh, uh, the name of country in my dataset. So you, be, you need to be aware of uh, the uh, way you have to pass the geographical attribute to the map because this is a ping map. Last visual, a few minutes left. Synoptic panel. Synoptic panel is a custom uh, visual uh, developed by uh, an Italian uh, company, uh, OKViz. Uh, you can uh, correlate data with images, any kind of images, not only geographical images, but also two, uh, two dimensions uh, images. Uh, is powerful and uh, fully customizable. Uh, just to understand what I'm talking to, Synoptic Panel uh, in uh, uh, 2015 won uh, the Power BI Visual Contest as the best visual uh, developed by the community. This is uh, how uh, a visual made in a Synoptic uh, Panel looks like. You have uh, an image <coughs> and you want to display data related to uh, the image. This is a, a fictional store, for, uh, for example, and you have uh, uh, data uh, related to every department of uh, your store. Uh, 
for using a synoptic panel, you um, have uh, mm, to create an image. There are two ways to create an image. If your uh, custom image is a bitmap, you can use um, a, a website developed by uh, OKVids uh, to transform your image into uh, a format uh, for a synoptic panel. Or uh, if your image is a vector, you can use uh, Link Inkscape, uh, a third party uh, tool, a free third party tool for creating uh, images. Uh, images must be in uh, SVG format, a uh, vectorial uh, format. Just to give you a, a quick example, this is uh, the website for Synoptic Panel. If you have an image, you can drag your image in there, uh, map the image to data, and then convert your image into a, a format for a synoptic panel. Just uh, have the, the demo. Oh, okay. Uh, if I go to uh, the gallery on the website, there are a few images uh, already uh, available and there are um, general images or uh, geographical images. You can download, uh, for example, uh, the Europe uh, map and use it uh, into your, uh, or, uh, or Italy or so whatever, and use it into your reports into Power BI desktop. Uh, just to show you, uh, for synoptic panel, I created uh, a fictional office based on my example with a few departments. This is an image I created in Inkshape. I uh, imported the image into Power BI and uh, I correlated the image to my expenses. This is the, the way my, uh, my uh, report looks like, I imported the image into Power BI, I have a correlation <laughs> with my departments and I uh, can show for every department the travel expenses amount, importing the visual into uh, Power BI. If I want to uh, highlight who are the goods and who are the bads, I can have uh, uh, color uh, saturation, for example, and uh, data colors off, and go. I have color saturation according to my expenses. I would expect that the sales department uh, has uh, the biggest amount of expenses. Uh, for us, uh, is not the, the case. Uh, we have the production with the most, uh, most amount of expenses. Uh, something is wrong for my company. Okay, I. Uh, run out my time, so um, I don't have uh, any time. Uh, I finished my topics. Uh, if you have a few questions or if you want to meet me outside, uh, I am available. Uh, thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed my presentation.